everyone. This is Swing here from City Labs. I'm here at the workroom again. Today we are going to just go through some new products. Today we are actually looking at the Twist P uh, Diamond Mini in the rose gold white version. All right. So I have here with me brand new. They just arrived this week. So I will just um, go through it very quickly. All right, those of you who are familiar, let me just show you a little bit. Okay. Um, those of you who are familiar might um, already be using Twisty. You might have already be familiar with the Echo. And this is the White Echo Rose Gold. They started coming out with the White Echo Rose Gold probably by now, almost two years. Yeah. Then it was followed by very more recently the Diamond 580 Smoke Rose Gold. This is also pretty beautiful. Yep, so and today we're going to be unveiling the Diamond Mini. So those who are familiar with the Diamond Minis, there are quite a few of them that we have available. Let me just show you. So these are the Mini series. Okay, you can see over here. Okay. So we already have quite a few samples here. We've labeled our samples so that in case you come to the workroom, you can test them out in EFs, start 1.5, yeah. So let's just get to opening up the brand new pen that just arrived, okay? So I've just pulled out the sticker for this. And as usual, it's very well protected, yeah. So then you can see this is actually the usual instructions all right so if you're not familiar with twisty twisty is actually from taiwan all right they are very beautifully designed very well engineered fountain pens these are the piston filler mechanisms so you can fill up the whole reservoir full of ink especially those who enjoy writing quite a bit and use up cartridges very quickly and then don't enjoy filling up you will definitely enjoy using a twisty all right, so over here you can see this is the full assembly showing all the piston mechanism. So I'm going to show you what's going to be inside as well. So over here, some history of the diamond, Twisty Diamond from 530 version onwards. Okay, over here, one more small instruction on the AL mechanisms. Okay, so you can see some of the instruction here. Okay, about the grease and not cleaning out certain parts of the grease. So when we open up, so you can see over here, let me just pick up the box. So you can see it's protected all around so that this beautiful box is not, um, it's not damaged at all. Let me just go straight in. Yeah, okay. So it's a very beautiful box. You can see the Twisty logo. This is same as all the other boxes that they use for the five, 80 diamonds as well. So let me just try to open up. So normally it's sealed on on the both sides with a clear sticker. So this one's brand new. I'm just opening it up immediately. Okay. So you can open out both sides or I'm just gonna open out one side. Ta -da. Okay, so this tool holds it down. And you can see the Twisty 5D Mini. It's a gorgeous pen. Yep. You look at the finish of the white as well. You can see over here. I hope when I zoom in, you can still see clearly. Oops. Yeah. Let her. Okay, so you can see why it's called a diamond is because of the diamond facets here. You can see the diamond facets on the barrel itself. And of course, then this is where the AL portion is. It's gold, very beautiful rose gold. You look at the cap as well. That's where the Twisty logo is. You can see some bearing or protection on top. Then you can just twist it open and the front section as well. This is in white and then the nibs are all in rose gold. 
All right, so it's four rows gold, and then when you twist, you can see the full piston mechanism. So the full piston mechanism is in gold as well. Nicely done, rose gold, and rose gold trim all around. So of course, this is a mini, and you want to compare it with the full length 580. So I'll just show you the length itself. So you can see over here, look at my ruler. Okay, so this one's about 11.5 cm. Yeah, so maybe I can put it up closer. Some of you may be able to see this. Close up. Okay, let me put it down. So you can see the full length. And for those of you who are watching from other countries, you can see this is in inches. Yeah. Probably four and two thirds inches. Yeah. Okay. Then as compared to the full length diamond 580, that's about full 14 centimeters. Yep. Yeah. So 14 against your 11.5. So you can see it's significantly smaller. So it's pretty good for putting in your pocket, right? So I think this is a very handy size that I like to put in the pocket because I also enjoy using Kawikos. My own Kawikos, let me take it out to compare. So these are my Kawiko pens and one more which is this is the Traveler's Notebook pen. Mine is quite in brass, so you can see mine has got very nice patina by now. And this is my Kawiko. So how does it compare? You can see for yourself over here, the different heights and lengths. Okay, I can put it side by side so that you can have a look at it as well over here when it's side by side. Which way should I go? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not good with the camera distance. Okay, so let me bring it up closely, slowly. So you can see. Alright, and let me keep the edge close. So you can see when it's capped, probably the shortest will still be the Traveler's Notebook, of course, there's a fountain pen version. The one that I'm using should be the rollerball version, but the fountain version is the same. Then the length of the Kawiko slightly longer, maybe just 2mm longer, and then followed by the Twist B 580 Mini. All right, so when it comes to compactness, you can have a look. All right, so I don't know which one you guys already have. If you guys are Kawiko users and you are looking here, you guys can say what kind of Kawiko you're using. If you are already a TM Brass Pen user, you can write down as well. And if you are already a Twisby 5D Mini user, write down. You can write down me or which color that you actually own. Yeah, so when it's closed, you can see these are the three different sizes. All right, so you can keep it compact. Um, those of you who already own a Kawiko though, you might think, can I keep this inside? the Kawiko pouch, unfortunately, it wouldn't fit in. Huh? It's still sticking out a little bit. So what I've been doing for my Kawiko, I've been sticking one of the pens in and then I put my Traveler's Notebook brass pens inside. So that one, it fits. So those two are short enough, but unfortunately not long enough for the Twist B Mini. Stuck sticking out just slightly a little bit. If you guys don't, of course, you can see mine is well worn. <laughs> I don't know whether is it worth like trying to keep some end to it. I don't know whether I can clip it in even. It's a bit challenging to clip. Well, you can protect. So this one reaches the edge. You can protect a little bit, but still sticking out. So mm, not perfect solution. Yeah. Okay. So then let's get back to comparing with 
the full length 580. So this is the full body. And I think what we want to be able to do is to compare it based on grip. Because I guess um, there's already more than enough reviews out there on how well the twist V writes. And this is no different from any other twist V. So it should write equally well. And if you already own one, the writing function is the same. So what you can see though is the difference between the Mini and the 580. You can tell very clearly from here, let me bring it a bit closer, that the nibs are not interchangeable. It's not interchangeable. So the 580 uses a larger nib size. You can see the flaring out is much bigger. So decorative in that way, this one is smaller and slimmer, all right? So you already have an eco this one's similar. Okay, so you can see the eco and the diamond mini uses the same type of nibs, but different from the 580. Okay. So what are the other similarities? You can see itself, the trims over here. So the mini ones, the trim is much slimmer compared to this. All right, behind wise, you can see the trims here as well. Mechanism, the piston mechanism itself is much more similar. And of course, you can see from the barrel, <coughs> the barrel is much smaller. So of course it carries less. So, but when you post it, okay, and of course this one has, the FIT has threads here. So it is meant to be posted. So you can see the cap fits in pretty nicely. All right. So you can post pretty nicely. So let me see whether I can fit in. Yeah. So. So when you hold it, it's actually like a full-size pen grip, all right? So we can compare when you, once you post it, you can tell from the tip all the way to the back, actually, it's quite a bit longer, actually. So if you are holding it this way, I don't think most of you will post. It's not meant to be posted for the 580, so it's supposed to grip it this way. So this is actually full length once you post the pen. Yeah, so I think it fits very comfortably. So those of you who might not own a 580 mini before, you might want to compare actually with other twist piece first, right? So the other twist piece that you might already own is a full eco. So let's see the length. So from end to end, so this you can see the edge and then it's, yeah, when fully posted, it's still slightly longer. All right, so if you have a nice grip on this, you should feel perfectly home with the Mini. All right, so this is a very beautiful pen. I think it's gorgeous. All right, and the length is very nice as well. So for those of you who might be owning other brands, that's when you might be owning a Kawiko. Okay, so if you do own a Kawiko, when you post it, then let's compare the length. All right, so you can see itself. Ah. So when you close it, it's longer, and when you post it, it's also slightly longer. All right, so the I enjoy using the Kawiko Sport because it's really tiny, but when I post it, it fits my hand very well. Okay, so I do like the length of a Twisty 580 Mini as well. And this is rounded by the side, so it sits pretty nicely on the hands too. Okay, so I think this will be a very good alternative. So you guys already have a Kawiko Sport, you might find it quite nice to own a Twisty. 5D mini if you don't like long hands. Yeah, so I think this is a very, very beautiful pen. And then you can look oh, at the trims as well. Let me see the 580 compared 
to this. So you can see on the white echo, it's clear all the way. Even for the piston itself, it's just black. But the 580 AL rose gold, it's a lot more interesting. So the piston itself is, is rose gold trim. Here is white as well. And you can see the finishing of it as well. Okay. Let me compare the finishing with the Eco White. So Eco White is a bright white here. You can see. Then there's a certain way that they have applied the finishing to the cap of the 580 mini gold because it looks as if it's ceramic. Okay, it's not ceramic, okay, but it has this glaze. I don't know whether you can see the glaze in the video, but it gives a certain glaze look that makes it look like it's porcelain. So it's really, really interesting to see the effect of this. So when you hold it, it looks like you're holding some kind of a glass pen. Yeah, so I think it's very beautiful in the way it's done. All right, so you guys can have definitely have a look at this. Um, those of you who are still not sure, you can come down to our workroom. This is where you can have a look at a sample, see it before you make your final decision. That's the beauty of our store. It's, we are not just online, you can come by to our workroom. So this one is equal, you can see, all right. I think they're all beautiful. So if you've already got an eco white rose gold, you will certainly be very tempted to get one of these. I think it's different enough and to be able to add to your collection. Yeah. And yeah, definitely nice to write with. So like I said, this one I have in the rollerball version, but when you fit it in, it's same as the fountain. So you can see it's pretty long. So we're quite similar to the brass pen if you already have a TM brass fountain pen. All right, so when you post it, it's almost the same in length. Cool. So those of you who might want to compare with, also might be comparing with existing Diamond 580s, all right, you might see, hey, I've already got one of them, how different it is. So let me put them together. So what I've put together is what we actually have in our showroom, all right? Of course, I, there are more colors than this. I've taken out the more recent one, which is the Mint Blue Mini, all right? Then these are the classics, which is the black and the clear. So if you have any of those, you might realize that the white rose gold really stands out. Yeah, it's quite different from the rest. So if you've been using just plain mini goals, I think this is definitely worth looking at. So the mint blue is beautiful by itself. I love it. But you can definitely see. Yeah, it really stands out by itself. It's truly a beautiful pen. Okay. So you guys might be looking at that. And then of course, what I have, well, as well to for you to compare is a VAC Mini. So the VAC Mini is a little bit longer than the Diamond 580. You can see for yourself, it's very slightly longer. Just at a little tip, you can see this is probably, I don't know, 4 to 5 mm longer for the VAC Mini. Right, so those of you who are not familiar with VAC Mini, VAC Mini is a mini version of the VAC 700. It uses a vacuum mechanism instead of the typical twist-up piston mechanism. All right, so that's it. That's it for today. Very simply, I think it's a beautiful pen. Yeah, and you might probably want to add this for your, for your collection. Let me grab it. Yeah, so I think this is quite a beautiful pen by itself. Those of you who are watching it already today, you know that it's um, already available.
the stocks have just arrived. It was on pre-order for the past week. So stocks have just arrived and we just started shipping them today. So if you want to, you can just come by our workroom as well. Take a look at it before you make your purchase or just go to the link below and then you can make your purchase. All right. I appreciate if you guys give us a few thumbs up. All right. So that we can continue doing all these reviews and you guys can see what's the pen that you guys like and continue shopping from our City Lux website store. All right. That's all for today. Today, any questions, you guys can type it in into the comments below and then we can answer yours as well. Um, yeah, so price-wise, you guys can see, I think with um, it's 122 and for the normal nibs and $130 for the stock nib as well. So this, this weekend is 12-12 weekend, so we've got quite a lot of promotions going on. There's like 10% off basically almost everything store-wide. And yeah, so you guys can take a use of the promotions. All right, see you again. Bye.